It's called. Look at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. I know y'all want some. Oh, I say y'all a slice. Okay, I say no, no a slice. A spoon full yeah. rent. Here I find myself again. Time traveling only in my head. From the past to future play. More change, yeah. What's going on, friends? How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Is everybody blessed out there? Y'all having a good day? Y'all already know where I'm headed to child. Back to Granny's house. Back to Granny's house. Y'all, what is going on? Let me get over, child. These people on this E-way. I hate being on the E-way. Oh, Jesus. Father, please be with me. Please be with me. Oh, Lord. Child, these people on this E-way, they be traveling like maniacs. They be slowing up, slowing down. Ain't nothing going on in the front of them. It's just too much. I hate getting on this expressway. Oh, Jesus. I gotta hear a beat about for y'all. I say this every time. I say this every time. Oh, Lord Jesus. Y'all, I'm headed to Granny's house, y'all. I got to go see my granny. I've really been trying to see her a lot now. Due to me, um, Made it to Granny's house. Wait a minute, child. She finna make me some peach cobbler, y'all. <laughs> All right. Granny, do I need to cut them peaches up? Yeah, that's why I'm finna slice them up there. Hopefully, I can see. I'm trying to see y'all right here. That's already got a top thing. You pull that. I don't know. Don't eat juice away, Kenny. Mmm, this soap smells good. Huh? Granny, this is something you gave me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you some of this. Mm mm. Oh, shoot, Kenny. No, you just gave me some back. You know it be stashed. It smells good. It's gonna be stashed everywhere. <laughs> I need a pantry dog, Kenny. A pantry. Mm -hmm. you, you can just walk in. Thing, like that. I can just walk in, look in my pants, and pull it off the shelf. Uh -huh. That's what I need. A pantry. Yeah. So we got the peaches. We got some whole peaches, y'all. I'm gonna cut them. Okay. Slice them up there, Ken. I'm gonna slice these peaches. They just gotta be sliced. Just slice and leave them in there, and then you put them over here in this pot. Okay. Girl, where your knife is? You got some over here. Trying to stitch out the way. Okay. Okay. Alright, she. Get out of here, she. Trying to see y'all the way y'all can see. I said, I'm gonna be fighting flies and mosquitoes all night. Shoot. We couldn't go in there. Oh, man. Trying to find somewhere to see y'all. Uh -huh. Okay, let's 
the chair right there. So I'm just slicing up these. Okay. So yeah, I'm just slicing up these peaches. Cause granted she ain't had no sliced peaches. So I just told her I'm just gonna cut up these right here for my little peach cobbler. Granny show me how to make her peach cobbler, y'all. So I always remember how to make peach cobbler when I ain't nowhere around her. <laughs> I hope y'all can see that. All right, y'all. They got my peaches. <laughs> Wash my hands. I hate these cameras. There we go. There we go, y'all. Girl, I'll be having y'all all over the place. Okay. Ooh. Well, y'all, Granny made me a box, Marquisa box. I'm gonna show y'all when I get to the house. What'd you say, Granny? I don't have some milk, but I don't see it. You don't see none? Yeah. Hold on, y'all. So y'all done pulled up at all these right quick. Granny was looking for her some um some milk, girl. And she didn't have no milk in the kitchen. Granny was like, child, I got everything else but some milk. I can't never keep no milk in the house. <laughs> so I'm over here, y'all, picking up Granny some milk real quick. Cause she got to have it for that peach cobbler. So over here real quick. I'm finna grab her some sweet milk real quick y'all and then I'm gonna be headed back headed back to the house Y'all, this Aldi's over here is kind of different from the one over there by my house. So I got to try to find where the milk is, yeah. <laughs> I think it's down here. That's all they had, Grant. Wow. They ain't even had a little minute. They ain't even had a little bitty. You must went to Aldi. Mm -hmm. Oh, cash <laughs> shave. Well, cash shave with a half. Oh, I ain't go to cash okay, shave. Can I put about a half a cup of sugar in there? Sugar? Okay. Oh, water. Not quite a half a cup. See what you're doing here. The taste is here. Okay. And see if I got enough sugar in. I don't want to get too sweet. So okay. I, I got to put the nutmeg in there, too. They said it's sweet enough. That's where it got to be sweet enough. You need a little more sugar in it? Just a little piece. Okay, put your little more in it. Just a little piece. It just ain't gonna work. Right, that's the way I do mine. Taste it till you get to the right taste now. Taste it to you. <laughs> <laughs> give it a nutmeg over there. Okay, so we got it. Now you take that, shake it in there. You have to shake them a lot. You have to stir it up and taste it. That's the way I do it. Get the taste. That's a little brand. No, I'm just little more. Little more. Yeah, see it. Okay, nine. That's enough. Try to stir that up and see can you even taste nutmeg. Give me up. Give me that spoon right there. Get out, Katie. See, that's 
Okay, you taste nothing, you know, you don't taste nothing. Let's see. Let's see. Then I ain't even put you a little more. You put some cinnamon in here too, Grace? No, I don't put nothing in You want some cinnamon? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Or do you put the cinnamon on the top? No, nah, you can put the on, you gotta put the little on both of them, Ken. Oh, okay. Is this cinnamon? Yeah, that's cinnamon right there. Get your little cinnamon. Just a little bit of cinnamon Just a little bit now. and some nutmeg in there. You see this salt, right? Salt, okay. Just gonna blend with the sugar, so I'm gonna take like that. I put a little dash of salt in. Okay. Alright. So when that melt, now you gotta make the flour. Okay. You need a couple of separate flour. Now where to cook it? Yeah. Okay. I got that ready for you. This is a half a cup right here. So you gotta put two of them in there. Two? Yeah, because this is a half a cup. Now you put that half in there. Okay. Let me give you one half. I have a, one cup in there. Okay, now that's a cup of flour. So I'm adding flour. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to add smoke. Yeah, you need to add smoke. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You need to add some more flour. They might bring in and make it dough too thick. If you, I don't know about adding too much more flour. I don't want all your stuff to get the wrong spot. Can we put a flavor in that can? Vanilla flavor? Mm. No. Huh. It's your teaspoon of vanilla flavor. Okay. Okay. I ain't promise I took it out. Oh, here you go. Teaspoon of vanilla flavor. I don't know if you're going to have too much, though, man. That's all right, Granny. That's the best part. <laughs> That's how they live. That dough, that's the best part of the, of the peach cobbler. I can eat that without the peach. That's what they say. I can just eat the dough. Mm -hmm. Y'all know the bread part of the peach cobbler. Girl, I'll tear it up. But I ain't got to have no peaches now. I just tear the bread part of it. They ain't get all the bread. Mm -hmm. Just the batter. Yep. Let me see if you're stuck in the milk. Y'all think Make sure it's stirred up real good. Yeah. Just open it in it and bake. Then you can get on down. Did you mind? She eat peace cobbles. She'll taste it, but she not no. She, she not she no person like that just. Like she really don't eat a lot of sweets, Granny. Well, that's a good thing. Kid. Yeah, she tells me all the time, Mama, I don't like a lot of sugar and a lot of sweets. She like to eat stuff like ch hot chips and stuff like well, that. Well, that's just bad. <laughs> yeah, she'll do some hot chips and a hot pickle before she do a cake or anything that got sugar in. Well, she'll she'll do cool that. Okay. Did I stir this up good enough? Right? Yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to sit that down there. All right. She got everything seen the way she wants, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna get that. We ain't gonna waste it getting at home. I got a top. I'm gonna put it on the. I'm gonna put it on the floor, so I, you know, so it won't. Right yeah, it can sit on my floor on the on the back, so, so I won't. Call the pan now. I'm gonna bring a pan back, right? Uh, well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grant, I bring a pan back. Yeah, Grant, I bring a pan. Yeah, that's my cobbler pan. Cause see, you already gave me one of them pans. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, but you gave me your. Well, I mean, I, I still be using it. That's what I mean. Burn you though. The older they get, the better they cook. Yeah, I still be using that pan. Mm -hmm. I be using that pan, making like my little pork chops and stuff. I be putting yeah, all bake, types yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Baked macarons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you came back. Give me up off that chip. <laughs> Trying to keep setting that thing by what I need to do. But, Granny, you said you're going to be cluttered, huh? I think you're not setting it in the pan. Yeah, you're going to be cluttered. Yeah. Then I look at some, where do I start? Then I go from room to room, I say, oh, no. Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to get somebody to help me with the club. And where are you going to put the stuff at, Granny? Yeah, when you the club. Well, see, you go to the Goodwill with that. Ah, okay. So You're like going to take a lot of stuff you know, to your Goodwill. Just get to a Goodwill. And I don't know nobody to go use this stuff. I got yeah, that's room. something I got to yeah. declutter. What you got to declutter? Lord, child. I got so much stuff, Granny. Shoes. I got, uh, too bad I can't wear your shoes. Your shoes are real for me. Mm, Grandma, you wear nine? Mm. Yeah, I wear eight now. My feet shrunk a little bit. I was in the eight and a half. Yeah, that's what your mama wearing. She wore eight. I wore eight and a half, but I say I wear eight because it's some shoes lately that I've been trying on has been eight. Oh, it's cool. I, think, made, I think it's my feet and shrunk down because I done lost so much weight. But mm -hmm. my, mm -hmm. it's good, Grandma. Mm -hmm. So I guess it all depends on what shoe it is and how it's made. That's the reason why my feet can wear eight sometimes. But I can't never wear my mama's shoes. So you got enough nut <laughs> nigga, right? You sure you got enough nut nigga that can? Mm -hmm. You can add some more brand. I don't want to make, make it where you can't eat it. I'm going to eat it now. <laughs> I'm going to eat it. Y'all, here's me. I'm going to eat it. Long as I've been wanting a peach cobbler, I'll tell y'all when I came over here the other day. Well, what number mostly cross was? Uh -huh. I came over here the other day, child. I wasn't vlogging and then like that. My mama had ate all the peach cobbler from me. <laughs> Granny had a little bowl. Girl, I told her peach cobbler. As soon as I got around that cone, I was in the kitchen eating it. But when I got around that cone, the Granny, Granny said, Dog, you ate it already? <laughs> child, I told her, Dog, on peach cobbler. It wasn't much in there anyway. Do I have some cross on this? No, huh? 
I got granny this right here for Christmas one. Yeah. Here. You think I don't use it making my dumpling? This right here, it's like a roller. It's a rolling pin. Rolling pin, what you yeah. make your, your chicken and your dumplings. And you know granny made me some chicken and dumplings, y'all. I came over here, child, and she made me some chicken and dumplings. Yes. Actually, that was the day that, um, that was the day I went vlogging over here. I came over here and, um, uh, she had cooked some chicken and dumplings, and my mama again. <laughs> she ate them all, and she comes over to my house. Candy, mama cooked some good old chicken and dumplings, and I ate them up too. I said, "Dog, you ain't saved me no." <laughs> she said, "Child, no." I told them chicken and dumplings up. Mama gave me some chicken and dumplings. I took them on my job and ate them for lunch, and they were good. So Granny called me and said she was gonna whip me up a pan of chicken and dumplings, child. I had came over here and got my chicken dumps. Girl, them chicken dumps so good. Even though it's hot out here, it's too hot for that. But when you craving for something, hmm. Girl, it ain't gonna, you ain't gonna matter if it's hot or cold. <laughs> them chicken dumplings was good. Very good. Now I got me some homemade peach cob. <laughs> Ma'am. Mm, now that I see how I just made it. That's easy. Now I did see this one lady, Granny. She put some uh what I saw this lady do. 
She did some peaches. She didn't cook her peaches or nothing though. A lot of them don't. But she, but she pulled her, she pulled her bud in her pan. She pulled her peaches and stuff, and then she used some uh, smacker doodle or something like that. Cake, like cookie dough. Okay. And she poured that all over the peaches. And then she, yeah, then she added some cinnamon and nutmeg and all that stuff, and she put her butter on top. She baked it in the oven. She said it was good. I said, what kind of peach cobbler is this? But she added some smacker doodle, like cookie dough or something. Is it, is it cookie dough or is it some, or is it cake meat? Smacker doodle or something like that. I have no idea, but I was looking at that on the YouTube. I said, I ain't never saw that. <laughs> I said, I ain't never saw that one right there. They be thinking about all types of stuff on here. I said, Lord, have mercy. The dishes these people be coming up with, child. <laughs> My mama, where'd she get her recipe from? She was watching the YouTube too. The enchilada thing. She made it up herself. Enchilada casserole, y'all. No, it's got a little wrap. Oh, yeah. it's fajita. a wrap and she fajita, put it, fajita, she fajita wrap. Yeah. Well, that yeah, sounds good. Really? She don't yeah. eat all that? Yes, she said she did. <laughs> I'm shocked because my mama don't do no onions. She don't do no bell pepper like that. Not in no fajita wrap. And she made it like a casserole grin. In a pan. Oh, now I can eat it like that with the green peppers and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna cut up no onion though, but I do the green pepper. The, I do the I do the red pepper, the sweet red pepper. I do that with some green bell pepper. Sometimes I sometimes I do it like that, but not all the time. I don't like the crunchiness. If it's cooked and I can't taste it, I eat it. But if it's crunchy, and what's strange is, Granny, I can eat some, uh, some, uh, what you call that dip? That salsa dip, that, that pico de bayo, what you call that dip with stuff all your... Yeah, I can eat that. That's why I said that's strange. I can just get a chip and stuff. eat that raw with tomatoes and all that stuff. Yeah, because I, I sit there and eat the tomato, the onion, the, the cilantro, all that stuff chopped up like like some dip. But I can't just eat no raw that's onion like, that's in something. Like if I bite into a burger and you and I got the raw onion, I can't eat it like that. <laughs> mm -mm. No, I can't eat no raw onion on no burger. Mm -mm. It got to be cooked, sauteed, sauce or something, Chad. I can't eat I didn't grow it out of a lot of stuff. <laughs> I didn't grow it out of a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We on that little healthy journey now due to our body and stuff like this stuff be triggering so much in the body. Just got to stay healthy that day. And a lot of people do plant-based things. They do a lot of organic foods and stuff. I mean, it helped me out a lot of times, but I just eat my stuff. I try not to eat so much of stuff. I try to, I try to spread my, my fattening food. Out. Mm -hmm. I be running to that restroom. My stomach be hurting so bad, Grant. <laughs> I be running to that restroom. Especially if I done been and ate a whole lot of stuff. Like if I done went out to dinner with Lewis and I done got a meal or something. And I, I feel that my stomach bubbling. Because it ain't got nowhere to store anyway. And I can just go I can run to the restroom. My stomach be hurting so bad. And all of it just come on now. I feel much better though. <laughs> mm, I eat a lot of salmon and 
I had tried some different type of green beans at this restaurant. They were real good. They had like a little sweet taste to them. The, you know, the fresh, long green beans. They was real good. I thought I wasn't going to like them, but they were actually good. Do you get asparagus like that? I, I do. It's, I do. What you call the green? Asparagus. 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 Uh huh. I, I ate it that one time, but I didn't too much care for it, so I really don't. Marquise eat it though. He eat, he make his own in the oven with some, um, mm, and he be sprinkling that cheese on top of his. But I can't eat eat it like that. That's how he eat. He'll bake it in the oven, put some olive oil on it, sprinkle his seed, and put some cheese on. Yeah, he be pre sprinkling parmesan cheese on his, put it in the oven. Yeah, Marquis be doing all types of stuff. He done made home, his own homemade salmon glaze. Some honey and lemon or something like that he made. Yeah, he, he put he, mm -hmm, he put that on top of his salmon one time. He had some yams and some salmon and he had some sort of vegetable. I think he did have some asparagus. Yeah, Marquis always been that type of child. He eats soul food and healthy things. He don't eat a whole lot of uh, junk, like snacks and stuff like Jemaya. She don't either. She just eat a lot of, she eat a lot of spicy stuff like chips and hot pickles and stuff. Like, but when it comes to cakes and candy, and she don't want all that. She don't want all this sugary stuff. Ma'am. Yeah, pickles and and, 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 and hot chips and I don't ever hardly see her wanting cakes and stuff like that. Yeah, that's all she... She didn't come down with the spicy stuff. She don't eat a lot of spicy stuff. But she will, like like I said, she'll eat a bag of um, like spicy chips. But just eating a lot of spicy food. No, she didn't cut back on it. After she got sick that one time. She didn't cut back. She didn't even make her jump by your height no more. She just make it regular. The normally she'll make it real spicy. She don't do that no more. So she can cut back a little bit. Trying to eat healthy and stuff. <laughs> yep. Ooh, it's hot outside, child. It's so hot. Brandon next door neighbor, he over there 16 on something. I know y'all hear that knocking. He kind of like beating on some wood over there. He doing some shit. This Marquise box. Right here. And I got a box right there on the floor. I told Brandon, I don't want no whole lot of stuff. <laughs> Not this time, Chad. Brandon just gave me some stuff, girl. She had just gave me some stuff. So she gave me a little bit more stuff down here. But Marquise, he got a big box. So when he come down here, he probably be coming down here next week, y'all. He gonna come down here and get his box and stuff, spend a little time with him. And uh, he gonna be headed back to work. Yep. Jamaya, she just working. She just working right now, y'all. So whenever she get ready to stay, my mom ready to go to college. I'm gonna send her on. I'm gonna send her on. Ooh, it's hot too, baby. It's hot. Let's see. Granny Peach Cobbler is still cooking. Oh, it, was, it ain't rising yet. Oh, it's rising. Okay. Oh, okay. I made a apple Oh, I bet that's good. How you? You did fresh apple. Oh, you did. Yeah, I did first apple, I, I got this stuff right here in the can. In the can? In the can. Oh, it's like the the the, the, the pie filling in the can. Mmm. Now I just saw a lot of people use yeah, that too. A good, that's a good apple pie there. Oh, okay. I've yeah. seen people had the cherry in the can, yeah. cherry filling and the strawberry filling in the can. Cherry, right? mm -mm, I don't like cherry either. I, I didn't seen a lot of people use that in some sort of, you know, some kinds of they, uh, you know, some of they little desserts they be making. But I can't do that cherry. So that cherry, I ain't all that. Let me see. See, this is apple pie pill. That make a good cobbler. Ah, okay. 
So how would I make this green? All you gotta do is just put that on top and give it a little extra juice. Do I do, the, do, I do the same batter like I did the mm -hmm. peach cobbler? Oh, okay. okay. Stop, Katie. Katie, what are you doing? Y'all look how big Katie can get, Chad. Chad, Katie can get big. Is that her body? No, this is her. This uh <laughs> great club dough on this. Yeah, you just right here. This lemon. Oh, yeah. and lemon. you and you put this on well, grain. Well, you know this way you got your peaches when you put, get ready to put them in there on the, on your dough. Oh. Yeah, just dab it out with a spoon on every little spot. Okay. And put in the thing and it'll cook. Mmm. Didn't take no time to eat that one up. Mmm. I, I want to take grain. This time you make that. Yeah. Save me a little piece. <laughs> I want to try it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this so I do the dough just like I need the peach cobbler dough and just add mm -hmm. the yeah. add the apples. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let me put some good. Put your cinnamon in there. Cinnamon and, and, and sugar. Yeah. Okay. Cinnamon, sugar, and butter. This ain't no pasta. No flour's gonna be made for you. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be good. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'll be trying some new recipes here. <laughs> I'm still waiting on my mama to make her little cake and see what that tastes like. Cause you know, ever since she made that little strawberry shortcake thing. Little cake thing she used to make. I'm always making it green. I be making it at the home. Mm -hmm. I be making it at the house. <laughs> Kool Aid pie. I made one of them too. Mm -hmm. It was good. It tastes like it tastes like the flavor of the Kool Aid, and it's, it's I put mine in the freezer. Yeah, that's So, ooh, that pie was good. You know, a lot of people put that in the refrigerator, but I put mine in the freezer. I have to eat mine froze too. It's, it almost tastes like my mama's lemon box pie, but it's it's the Kool-Aid flavor and it's frozen. Now I like sugar pie like that. Mm-hmm. It's real good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's show, huh? A Twinkie strawberry shortcake, y'all. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of that. But, um, this lady here, y'all see on the TV. I was telling Grant about this lady. I had saw her this morning. And now get us started. And she was making that, that little Twinkie strawberry no bake cake. We're going to unwrap these Twinkies I and get them layered them. on the bottom of our dish. <laughs> Hold on, I thought I heard something. Oh, no. Oh, it's raining. No, Jesus. It's raining, Granny. I and knew it was going to Uh-huh. Y'all, I was hoping the rain didn't catch me. I was hoping that it didn't catch me. I'm just waiting on my peach cob, y'all. It's sprinkling now. It's coming. I hope it ain't out. I hope it ain't out there where I stay. She put that whipped cream on top of there, too. Yeah, Grant, I think you can buy this strawberry pie filling that uh, Kroger may have it. Yeah, Kroger. But you know, places like Ollie's, they probably got that. They got a lot of pie fillings and stuff. A lot of their food sitting on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's the last thing she's going to put on them. Yeah, look at this. Did live here. Thank you. My strawberry Twinkie cake. No baked mm -hmm. icebox dessert. No baked Twinkie pie. In the refrigerator. Cake. We're going to put some saran wrap over the top. And we're going to refrigerate this for at least two hours so it that it can good. fully set up. Mm. And then we're going to give this a try. Mm. All right, let's uh, dive into our strawberry right Twinkie mm -hmm. cake. <laughs> I wonder how it would taste with uh, you know, they got the banana Twinkies too, Granny. And you know, you put the banana bananas, uh huh, like it, it'll be like a banana banana pudding cake. 
They got some banana Twinkies. Mm -hmm. It'd be a limit. It'd be a limited uh, edition, but they'd be oh, okay. having them out now. They have them at Walmart. Oh, and you can do everything she doing, just make it like a banana pudding though, instead of, you can use banana pudding instead of the strawberry pudding. That'll be good. It'll be like banana pudding cake. Mm -hmm. And you can crumble up them, them vanilla wafers and put them on top. Let's give this a try. That'll be good. I bet that'll be good. That'll be real good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's too fun. Oh my god. All right, and my cobbler is done. Yeah, it's good too. Look at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. I know y'all want some. I say y'all a slice. Okay, I say no slice. A spoon full yeah. ranch. Yeah, I say y'all a spoon. Dough you got in you got pretty good enough dough. That's a lot of dough, but I'm yeah. gonna tear that up. I'm gonna tear that up, y'all. Wow. I'm gonna let it cool off for yeah, a little bit. The cool rain's supposed to start getting heavy at around my three grains. So I'm gonna try to leave that yeah. at 2.30. Yeah. That's gonna burn us I try to let it cool off of like, but it's 2.05, so I try to... you have to come back in. Granny, huh? it's raining hard now. I thought it said it's going to start raining real hard at 3. Well, you can't get out there now if you wet much, can you? Mm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till about 2.30, yeah, then I'll try to see. It's 2.05. Yeah. It's coming down. It's going to get hot. Yeah, I'll just oh. wait for a minute. Yeah. I didn't think it was supposed to rain today. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Let me go look at it again. Gran, get you, you can get you, get you a little, get you a little something of it, Gran. You're gonna tell me you got one. You reckon? Mm -hmm. Well, I ain't gonna say nothing about it. That's up to you. <laughs> can you go save me some? I may save her both. That's good, Grant. Grant, go and get you nah. some of it, honey. You don't need none, Grant. No. <laughs> but it's so good. You wait till you get that ice cream. That's what's mm, good. And it be good warm. Because mm -hmm. even when it's cold, I can't eat it cold. Yeah, I have to warm mine in the microwave. Mm -hmm, me too. I yeah. have to zap my thing in the microwave. And... I hope you enjoyed it, Grant. You did a good job on that. That look good. Yeah. Y'all. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, I'm glad I know how to make it now. I'm glad I know how to make it. Yep. All right, hear my phone. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can put this app on on Grant's phone real quick, y'all. Hold on. Twenty minutes later. Ooh, it's raining, y'all. Whoo, child. Granny said, Candy Pooh, girl, you better go on on that and slacked up. Girl, I did not know it was for the rain today. Y'all, this weather, this weather. <sighs> low, 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 have mercy. Mm. Well, I got my peach cobbler. Ooh, the camera getting blurry on y'all. Let me try to put this right here. Granny put my peach cobbler in a, in a box, y'all, because it's still like hot. So she put it in a box. I told her I'm gonna bring her pan back. <laughs> That's one of granny good pans right there. Let me see if I can make my way on across town, y'all, without these crazy drivers driving like they ain't got no sense out here. Cause y'all know how these people be driving, baby. Especially when it's raining out here. They cannot drive. And I hate to be out here like this when it's raining. And then I got to get back on the expressway. Jesus, Lord, once again, be with me. Be with me. Lord Jesus, y'all. Okay, let me make my way on home, child. I'm so glad Granny showed me how to make her peach cobbler. It's real simple and easy though, but I never thought just to make my own peach cobbler, y'all, in 43 years. 43 years. I've always just went to Granny's house and just ate her peach cobbler. 
or I would go to Walmart. Y'all know I used to tell y'all this. And I would just pick up the Patty LaBelle uh, peach cobbler and just eat that. Cause her peach cobbler is pretty good once you put it in the oven and you bake it. It's pretty good. But it ain't nothing like your granny's peach cobbler, y'all. I'm just saying, it ain't nothing like your granny's peach cobbler. Granny's always have good pies, peach cobblers, cakes. Any type of dessert that your granny make, it's always better than the store-bought stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying, child. It's always better. So now that I know how to make granny's peach cobbler, all I got to do is just whoop me up a pan whenever I feel like I want me a quick little peach cobbler I know it's a lot of videos on how to make peach cobbler y'all I mean it's a ton of videos I done watched a couple but everybody make them so different it's like you'll be like dog why they doing it like that or why they putting it in nails I guess you know everybody had their own little taste buds or whatever but I've always loved my granny's peach cobbler so I'm just like well listen I just wait to granny make me another one <laughs> so when she made me another one she said well candy poo you can learn how to make this so that's why i said i'm gonna go ahead and turn this camera on real quick because i wasn't gonna vlog it y'all i wasn't gonna vlog it for a minute i was just gonna let granny go in the kitchen and whoop it on up because you know when granny's getting in the kitchen and they in there they just be cooking their dessert they don't be worried about no camera they just be in there whooping up some stuff they don't measure nothing you know Y'all know how us southern women cook. We don't measure a thing. We be in the cook kitchen. Especially grannies. They don't never measure nothing. They just be in there cooking up some cooking up some stuff and adding their own ingredients and their own little teaspoons, tablespoons, or whatever. That's a granny for you, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> but uh since granny was like, can hey, poop, you gonna you gonna make this one day at your house, baby. All you gotta do is is just learn how to make up this quick little peach call. I said, well, let me let me broadcast this real quick, Granny. She said, well, let me let you do it then. <laughs> I'm going to let you cook it then, honey. Let me get over. Let me get this camera because, Shana, you going to let me over because I hate to go down this street. I need to turn down this other road because I don't want to be in all this traffic down here. Oh, jeez, I'll go down here and turn. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here and turn, y'all. I hate being on this road too because they doing all of this construction and they've been doing this construction for a minute. They've been doing this on this street, girl, it's been some months and they still ain't fixed this ragged street yet. Whew, Jesus. But anyway, I'm gonna see y'all when I get to the house, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what um, Granny packed in our boxes for the day. I told her I ain't want a whole lot of stuff, but she had just gave me some stuff. So she gave me a couple of items and she packed a Marquisa box. So I'm gonna share with y'all as soon as I get to the house. So we pray, so we pray, so we pray, just walked in the house, y'all. Let me open my back door. It's kind of like dark and dim in here. The rain hasn't came this way yet, y'all. So I got all this stuff out the car without me being rained on. Thank the Lord. Who praise the Lord? I even made it here safe. Yeah, them people driving so crazy out there, baby. Whew. Let me uh, let me share with y'all real quick what's in these boxes. So this is my box right here. This is Marquis' box, and then this is my bag right here, y'all. I think I'm gonna set y'all up because I ain't gonna be able to hold this camera. Let me get my ring light. All right, y'all. Y'all see me? I hope y'all can. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and. I'm gonna let y'all see what's in Marquis box first. He got some cookies. Cookies of, who is this? Famous, famous <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies, a mini packet. He got some of those. He got some sweet peas. He got three cans of sweet peas. Three cans of these green beans right here, y'all. I'm gonna take all of this stuff out, but I'm just gonna let y'all know how to do that. Then he got four cans of corn. Granny gave him some mayo. He got two things of jelly. Because Marquise like to eat peanut butter jelly. 
he got a what's that five five boxes of this macaroni and cheese right here five boxes he got some rice which he probably just give me this rice i don't think he's gonna eat this rice he got some larry seasoned salt and he got some more uh well what is this meat tenderizer he got some meat tenderizer right here he got three things of the idaho mashed potatoes he got some peter pan and some just regular uh peanut butter he got two things of peanut butter and he also got some tuna fish right here. He got four cans of tuna fish. And he got some of these Fruit Loop cereal bars. I think Granny gave us one of these the last time when I went, y'all. So, this Marquis box we need to take back with him whenever he comes down. I'm going to share with y'all what's in my box. I'm sure y'all look at this bag first. But Granny gave me two things of roasted turkey gravy. And you know, you can put this like on some pork chops, some chicken, bake it in the oven. Girl, it's good. Okay. These here are just personal. She gave me a whole bag of these always, like panty liners. So I got a lot of these, y'all. And I also got these here in the bag. I got those. She gave, I got three Cokes here. Y'all know these Cokes are for Lewis because I really don't drink Cokes. So this is like the cherry Coca-Cola. So I got Lewis three of those because he likes to drink Coke. Um, she gave me two cans of Black Eyed Peas. I got some cranberries. Y'all know I eat these in my, in my salad. So I got those. I also got some sweet peas. I got like three cans of sweet peas. I got some diced tomatoes right here. I got three cans of diced tomatoes. I got two cans of the pasta spaghetti sauce. Y'all see me when she gave me the apple pie filling. I got some of that, which I'm gonna try to make me an apple cobbler. I ain't never tried that, but I'm gonna see how it tastes. And then I also got some tuna fish here. I got like four cans of tuna fish. And then she gave me two bags of this hand soap. And I know this is probably by, who is this by? You know what, well, y'all, I know this is by Bath and Body Works. <laughs> but um, I was washing my hands with some of this in her kitchen. Your granny got a lot of this soap. This smells so good. This is from Bath and Body Works, y'all. I got like six of these. And I'm so glad she gave me this hand soap because the girl was running low anyway. I think I got like maybe three dial hand soaps up there where I keep all of my stuff stocked up in my laundry area. But yeah, I got two bags of this hand soap, which is some really, really, really good soap. Y'all already saw my peach cobbler over there. Granted, put it in this box. It's just cooling off right here. Y'all probably can't see. There we go. But yeah, this is some of the other stuff that Granny got, got uh, that she gave me when I went, and that's when she made my my um my chicken and dumplings. Y'all had a whole box of this stuff here, different cookies like cookies, uh, Chips Ahoy. I had the mini Oreo. She had a whole box of these, and Louis already like ate a lot of these, but I just got two of them left. I got the animal crackers. I got Teddy Graham. It was just like a whole box. And I just threw it in here and set it on the table. And then, um, let me move y'all over here real quick. Because, child, let me tell y'all, Granny had a whole box of, she had a whole box of bacon, y'all. Here's our Fruit Loop bars right here. She gave these to Jemaya. Jemaya ain't even opened these up yet. But I could have shared that with y'all already. Didn't I show y'all the frugal bars? I think I did. This is the bacon that Granny gave y'all 
I got like three boxes of this bacon. Y'all know this bacon is about $7 at Kroger, child, just for this one little box. $7. So she had a whole box of bacon. And I told Grandma, I said, <laughs> let me take my water. Excuse me, my water out. I told Grandma, I said, Grand, I made me some BLTs with that dog on bacon child. Them BLT sandwiches was good. Y'all hear me? Was good. Let me see what else I got over here. That could be it, y'all. Yep, that could be it. Cause I know Granny, she be giving us, she gave us one of these cocktail sauces for the shrimp. This is also my mayo that she gave. And right here, I got these two bags of like instant rice that, you know, it don't take that long to cook. So yeah, Granny always saving the day with me because uh y'all knows i stay at walmart or kroger trying to get something but anyways chad i just want to share with y'all real quick what green had gave us um today and uh your girl finna get ready to get off of here lewis is on his way home yep he probably got about let me turn my thing on i say lewis got about 15 minutes and he'll be on his way home y'all but other than that, bags, I'm finna get ready to close it here. I'm finna put my food up and stuff like that. Go in my beauty room, straighten my beauty room up. I have been doing some more packing and stuff. Let me tell y'all this quick little story right quick, y'all. Me and Louis moved all these boxes. I know y'all can tell that the boxes have been moved. Look at it, y'all. We moved these boxes again, and I went over there trying to find my Sony battery charger and the rest of my batteries so i would have to order new batteries and a new charger uh for my new camera girl how about i was digging and i was digging in these cubbies and these boxes and i could not find my camera i could not find no bear i couldn't find nothing so i was just telling lewis i don't know what i'm gonna do it's either i'm gonna order me some more batteries and a new charger which i shouldn't have to do that or go through these boxes again and take my time and take everything out just to search for this stuff and see what i didn't do i didn't search like search search like i didn't take everything out of my boxes i was just like going through them just see if i saw like this little brown sony box where my camera came in and child i could not find it nowhere at all period so I got two options. I can go through these boxes again, or I can reorder, get on Amazon and just reorder me a battery charger and some more batteries because y'all listen, I tried to vlog with my camera and y'all know I just got that one Sony battery and I put it in there and how about the, the uh, battery cut off on me child? And I was just like, I ain't gonna be able to use this until I get some more batteries because I don't have a charger to charge this one battery up. I just, I'm just out of look right now until I get what I need to use my new camera. But it's okay, it's okay. I have not took this camera to the dude yet because I knew I had a review. So that's the reason why I haven't took this camera yet. But, and I ain't want to use my other camera. So I was just like trying to work with this one just until I got some of my reviews out and stuff. But eventually I'm gonna have to take this camera back to dude so he can fix it, y'all. And um, that's it. So I love y'all. Y'all be blessed and uh, can't pull up out of here. Later.